The King James Bible, the Book of Ruth, Chapter 3. Then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said unto her, My daughter, shall I not seek rest unto thee, that it may be well with thee? And now is not Boaz of our kindred, those whom, whose maidens thou wast. Behold, he winnowed, winnoweth barley tonight in the threshing floor. Wash thyself therefore, and anoint thee, and put thy raiment upon thee, and get thee down to the floor, but make not thyself known unto the man, until he, he sh until he shall have done eating and drinking, and it shall be when he shall lie lieth what and it shall be when he lieth down that thou shalt mark the place where he shall lie, and thou shalt go in and uncover his feet, and lay thee down, and he will tell thee what thou shalt do. And she said unto her, All that thou sayest unto me I will do. And she went down unto the floor and did according to all that her mother in law bade her. And when Boaz had eaten and drunk, and his heart was merry, he went to lie down at the end of the heap of corn. And she came softly and uncovered his feet and laid her down. And it came to pass at midnight that the man was afraid, and he turned himself, and behold, a woman lay at his feet. And he said, Who art thou? And she answered, I am Ruth, thine handmaid. Spread therefore thy skirt over thy, thine handmaid, for thou art a near kinsman. And he said, Blessed be thou, of the Lord, my daughter, for thou hast shewed more kindness in the latter end than at the beginning, inasmuch as thou followedest not young men, whether poor or rich. And now, my daughter, fear not, I will do to thee all that thou requirest, for all the, all, <clears throat> for all the city of my people doth know that thou art a virtuous woman. And now it is true that I am thy near kinsman, however, how be it, there is a kinsman nearer than I. Tarry this night, and it shall be in the morning, that if he will perform unto thee the part of a kinsman, well, let him do the kinsman's part, but if he will not do the part of the kinsman to thee, then I will do the part of the kinsman to thee, as the Lord liveth, lie down until the morning. And she lay down at his feet until the morning, and she rose up before one could know another, and she said, let it not be known that a woman came unto the floor, and he said, Bring the vial that thou hast upon thee, and hold it. And when she held it, he measured six measures of barley, and laid it on her, and she went into the city. And when she had came to her mother-in-law, she said, Who art thou, my daughter? And she told her all that the man had done to her. And she said, These six measures of barley gave he me, for he said to me, Go not empty unto thy mother-in-law. Then she said, Sit still, my daughter, until thou know how the matter will fall, for the man will not be in rest until he have finished the thing this day. Chapter 4 Then went Boaz up to the gate and sat him down there, and behold, the kinsman of whom Boaz spake came by, unto whom he said, Ho, oh, such a one, turn aside, sit down here, and he turned aside and sat down. And he took ten men of the elders of the city, and said, Sit ye down here. And they sat down. And he said unto the kinsmen, Naomi that is come again out of the country of Moab, selleth a parcel of land, which was our brother Elimelech's. And I thought to advertise thee, saying, Buy it before the inhabitants, and before the elders of my people. If thou wilt redeem it, redeem it. But if thou wilt not redeem it, then tell me, that I may know, for there is none to redeem it beside thee. And I am here, I, I am after thee, and said, I will redeem it. Then said Boaz, What day wilt thou buy the field of the hand of Naomi, that must buy it also of Ruth the Moabitess, the wife of the dead, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance? And the kingsman said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest I mar my own inheritance. Redeem thou my right to myself, for I cannot redeem it. Now this was the manner in former time in Israel concerning redeeming and concerning changing. For to confirm all things, a man plucked off his shoe and gave it to his neighbor, and that was a testimony in Israel. Therefore the kinsman said unto Boaz, Buy it for, the, for thee. So he drew off his shoe. And Boaz said unto the elders and unto all the people, Ye are witnesses this day that I have bought all that was Elimelech's, and all that was Chilean's and Mal Malon's, 
of the hand of Naomi. Moreover, Ruth the Moabitess, the woman, wife of Malon, have I purchased to be my wife, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance, that the name of the dead be not cut off from among his brethren, and from the gate of this place ye are witnesses this day. And all the people that were in the gate and, uh, and the elders said, We are witnesses. The Lord make the woman that is come into thine house like Rachel and like Lee, who, which too did build the house of Israel. And do thou worthily in Ephrata, and be famous in Bethlehem. And let thy house be like the house of Pharez, whom Tamar bare unto Judah, at the seed which the Lord shall give thee of his, of this young woman. So Boaz took Ruth, and she was his wife. And when he went in unto her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bare him a son. And the woman said unto Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, which hath not left thee this day without the kinsman, but that his name may be famous in Israel. And he shall be unto thee a restorer of thy life, and a nourisher of thine old age. For thy daughter-in-law, which loveth thee, which is better than thee, seven sons, hath borne him. And Naomi took the child, and held, laid it in her bosom, and became, became to nurse it. And the woman, her neighbor, gave it a name, saying, "This is, There is a son born to Naomi, and they called his name Obed. He is the father of Jesse, the father of David. Now these are the generations of Pharaohs. Pharaohs begot Hezron, and Hezron begot Ram, and Ram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Nash, Nash, Nashon, and Nashon begat Salmon, and Salmon begat Boaz, and Boaz begat Obed, and Obat begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David.